doing God's laws, we don't want to hear them. Right. We don't want to. We don't want to do the first law. Right. The laws of God are made for our better, to, for us to be better, for us to cope better, to eat better, right. to live better, right. as one as one family. Right. Right. But we can't do that if we're disobedient to God's law. Listen to this. Listen to this real quick, bro. What's your question? Your nationality? Okay. You see yourself on the sign right here? Okay, so you are a so-called African American, and I say so-called because it's a it's a term that's been put upon us, right? Now, there's no such thing as an African American. You would be from the tribe of tribe of Judah, right? So now I'm gonna show you, and it's perfect that you came up because I'm, I was teaching this brother that what we must do as God's people when God's word is coming out. Read that. You believe in God, right? You believe in Christ. You love God. Okay, check this out. Read that. First Corinthians chapter 11 and verse 3. Actually, read verse 1. Don't go nowhere, bro. Don't go nowhere. Okay, yeah. Read that. First Corinthians chapter 11 and verse 1. Uh -huh. Be ye followers of me, uh -huh. even as also as I am of Christ. So Paul's saying what? Be followers of him just like I follow Christ. What does he say? But, oh, verse 3. But I would have you know uh -huh. that the head of every man is Christ. Uh, read, read, it, read it back from the top. Well, 1 Corinthians chapter 11 and verse, which one sorry? Verse 1. Verse 1. Uh, be ye followers of me, even also as I am of Christ. Now I praise you, brethren, that you remember me in all things. Uh -huh. And keep the ordinances. Keep the what? The ordinances. What is, what is an ordinance? A law, right? Right. So he's Wait. getting ready to teach you a law. Read. As I delivered them to you. Uh-huh. Verse 3. Read. But I would have you know that the head of every man is Christ. So the, the Christ is above every Israelite man. Every That's black, right. Hispanic, and Native American man. Read. And the head of the woman is the man. And the man is above the woman. This is the order that God set up. Read. Right. And the head of Christ is God. So it goes God, Christ, man, woman, and children. Now read. The, now we're about, about to read the ordinance or the law that he's talking about. Read. Every man praying or prophesying, uh -huh. having his head covered, dishonoreth his head. So if a man is praying, or he's in the midst of this prophecy, because that's what we read it, with his head covered, you dishonor Christ. That's what it's saying. So what you think y'all should do? Why y'all listening and we answering y'all questions? It's simple. If you love God, what would you do? What's, his, what the, law, what's the law that came out just now? Okay, so what the brother was just bringing out that if you love God, if you honor God while his word is coming out or while you're praying or prophesying, we uncover our heads. You know how uh, if you go into like a court system and you see a judge or something, Christ is our judge. We take our hats off right. in reverence to that. Right. So if you are if people that reverence God and that honor God, when they hear that scripture, what would they do? What would be the action that they would do to show that they really honor God? Exactly right. But you keep it off because we're still prophesying. Uh, well, you can put it back on when when you're not in the midst of the Bible or praying. So just like he did, as an example, you should take your head, your head off too. Why are we teaching these things? Why are we showing these things? Because these this Bible is the solution to all of the problems that our nation of people has as blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. Go, go to Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 1. Because if I was to ask you, because a lot of our people believe that before slavery, we were kings and queens and royalty. They said, do you believe that? That before slavery, before we ended up in the hoods and the slums and the ghettos, we were royalty? How do our people get back to being royalty? Check that fly out, brother. Through keeping God's law. Uh, uh, what's, what's your name, brother? What do you think that our solution is to get ourselves back on the top? He said it was keeping God's laws. Don't give up, move forward, move forward, pray. Things of that nature, right? Read, read what you got. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 1. Watch this, watch this. Deuteronomy, I got it. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 1. Uh -huh. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So, the Bible said, what's your name, bro? You said what? Your mark? 
Demoy, is your name? What's up? Ryan Luther Demoy. Okay, my name's LK now. All right? Read what you got. Start over. Start over. Okay. And it, uh, Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 1. Uh huh. And it shall come to pass if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God. The Bible says that, Demoy, the Bible says that if our people pay attention closely to what the Bible says, like you said, read. To observe and to do all his commandments. To observe and to do all his commandments. Just like you observe to do the commandment of taking your hat off when the scriptures are coming out. Read. Which I command thee this day. Uh -huh. That the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. The Bible says that if our nation of people come back to keeping God's laws in the faith of Christ, the black Messiah, that he would put us above all nations of the earth. Are we above all nations of the earth right now, bro? No, cause, cause just like the officer brought out earlier, when you go to any hood, any project, any slum, any ghetto, throughout any part of the world, who's mostly there? Is it is it the Chinese man that's there? The East Indian man? Who's my brother right here? What's your name? Solomon. Solomon. That's a great name. My name's LK. When you go to any hood, slum, and ghetto anywhere in America, who is predominantly there? Our people, right? Yeah. Is that what you would say too? Yeah. How do we get our people off of the bottom and back to the top? Well, the Bible says the whole duty of man is to fear God and to keep his commandments. That's absolutely right. So if you don't fear God and keep his commandments, there's a punishment. Yo. Exactly. God and intended for us to basically be in control of the resources because of our disobedience. You, you absolutely if right. Hearken Read. diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe to do all his commandments and statutes which I command thee this day. The Lord thy God will set thee high above all nations on the earth. But okay. if thou hearken so, not diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy so God, if you know, all these curses will come upon thee. Right. So if you know and understand that, what should you be doing? Give me the remedy to the twist. The whole duty of man is to fear God and keep his commandments. Okay. Do you know God's law, statutes, and commandments? Yes. Okay. What does the Bible say about how we should dress. And the Bible also the Bible also says we're born into sin and shaped into iniquity. All right, but do we stay in that condition? The Bible says that that we all fall short. It's a yes or no question. Do we stay in that condition? Yes. We stay in the condition of sinning? Unfortunately, we do. No, that's that's not correct. The only man to walk the face of the earth that never committed sin. The only man, the only man that never committed sin. Hey, give me Matthew. I know my voice going out, but give me Matthew, the fifth chapter and the last verse, where he talks about being ye perfect. It be being ye perfect. Because what you're saying is, hold on, brother, what you're saying is, oh, you got to move? No, you better go ahead. What you're saying is that no man can be without sin. We all know Jesus is the only man that ever walked the face of that committed sin. But what you're saying is that we cannot walk and live as Jesus. No, we can't. Okay, watch this. You're wrong. Right. You're dead right now. And your appearance shows. Give me that. Matthew you you 5 with this being perfect. I, what's that got to do with anything? What, what does training have to do with it? You came over here quoting the scriptures. That, no, what I'm saying is, did you know the Bible said you're supposed to have fringes on your clothes? Did you? The Bible said you're supposed to have fringes on your clothes. The Bible says you're supposed to have a beard on your face. Right, right. Those were commandments that you can keep. Right. So you telling me you can't? You cannot refrain from shaving your beard. Are you telling me you can't do that? Read that. The book. No, we gonna read the Bible. Read the. Read that. Come on. The book of Matthew, chapter five, verse forty-eight. Come on. Be ye therefore perfect. This is what Christ is saying. He's saying be perfect, right? Read. Be ye therefore perfect. Come on. Even as your father. Which is in heaven is perfect. So what is Christ saying? What is he saying? Since you know what everything. You're what you're Let me speak. What no, no. What, what is that? What is Christ saying? You're not gonna go on a tangent. No, no, what is Christ no. saying? What you're reading a translation. What is Christ saying? I see that. That's that. That's the cop out for Christianity. Right. That's the that's the cop out of I don't know what I'm talking about. Right. Oh, it was a translation. We are gonna tell you what Christ was explaining. Right. Hold that. Give me Matthew 19. Christ said, "Be ye perfect." So what does perfect mean? What did Christ mean when he said perfect? What did he mean? From his perspective, from his point 
Ah, it's from his prayer. Now, now Christ got a perspective and point of view. Now Christ don't know what he's talking about. Hey, brother, you fool. You, know, you fool. Read that. Read that. The book of Matthew. That's why we got this. That's why we divide the three. The book of Matthew. Chapter 19, verse 16. Hey, this is what th this is what Christ said. Brother, calm down. Calm down. That's right. No, no, you want to back it up, back. Sir, step back. Read that. Book of Matthew, chapter 19, verse 16. Hey, this is what Christ said, sister. When he said, be ye perfect. Come on. Read. And behold, one day, as son I'm right here, brother. I'm right here. I'm right here, big man. Me and you. Right now. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. You. Let's go. Read this. The book of Psalms, chapter 19, and verse 7. This is what perfect means. Everybody, you can't be perfect. Society says you can't be perfect. Verse 22. This is the problem with our people. Right. We are here telling you you're the greatest thing on this earth. Right. 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 He want to fight. He want to fight. He want to fight. That's the problem. That's the and that is the problem with our people. That's right. Right. We can't rise out of nation. We are against each other. Yes. Right. We telling people. We telling drug dealers stop selling drugs. Right. We telling women stop being a whore. Right. Stop being a prostitute. Right. We telling men be fathers. Right. But he got a problem. Right. Bring it up. He, he, he against that. Now, no, everybody can't do that. He loves the white man. He loves his oppressor. Right. Read, read. The book of Proverbs, chapter 1, verse 22. Come on. How long, you simple ones? You hear what the Bible is saying? How long, you simple ones? Come on. How long you simple ones? Please. Will you love some pussy? Our people love to be stupid. Right. We right. love to be simple. Right. We out here telling, we out here got the, 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 God has brought his prophets with the knowledge to get our people right. But he, he want to fight. Right. Read that verse again. How long you simple ones? Will you love simplicity? Come on. And the scorn of delights in their scorning. He was a scorner. That's all he was. Come on. And fools hate knowledge. Fools hate God. Fools hate knowledge. Fools hate what this Bible brings. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.